Going to school for the students of Katwit Primary School in Baringo County, Kenya, isn't an easy journey. Due to the recent floods in the area, the students use handmade boats to paddle to the mainland through waters infested with crocodiles and hippos. One of them is 15-year-old Aliofons Arite, who is prepared to receive her tetanus vaccination. Maternal and neonatal tetanus is a disease of the poor, and most cases are found in communities with limited access to antenatal care, immunization services, and safe and skilled deliveries. From the 21st to the 27th of March 2014, 60 high-risk sub-counties across the country were provided with free tetanus vaccines to protect all women of childbearing age and their unborn babies. Currently we have a tetanus campaign carry, being carried out in Baringo County. We are targeting girls from the ages of 15 to women of the ages of 49, basically the childbearing age. And uh, Baringo County was identified as one of the high-risk counties that have high cases of neonatal tetanus. Involving schools such as the Katwit Primary School is key to the success of the tetanus vaccination campaign to ensure that all girls from underserved communities are vaccinated within the school premises. The target for Baringo County was to reach 130,000 girls and women. So that is why they normally get tetanus very quickly. When you look in at our hands, kuna cuts, 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 cuts. So iyo cuts iki kupata, kuna pata nini? Tetanus. It is important to involve school because here at school, we have children from age 15 years and above. Those children, they assist us in telling the, the campaign at home. And even their children, the other, their sisters and their sisters, which are not coming to school. So it sensitizes or it helps in mobilization. I advise them to not to neglect, but they go for the, make sure you go for the change. It is not a matter of family planning, but it's a matter of saving your life. Tetanus toxoid is a vaccine that is used to prevent uh, clients from getting tetanus infection. Tetanus infection can be gotten from cut wounds, from exposed wounds, uh, from using st and sterile equipment, especially when separating the cord and the, during delivery. It can also be transmitted from the mother to the unborn child during the delivery. Some of the signs and symptoms of tetanus include uh, what we call a, a sad face, ringing of the neck, and uh, stiffness. We have also the lock jaw. Provision of health services in these underserved areas becomes a huge challenge as the level of Lake Baringo has risen over the past months. Traveling by boat from one island to the other becomes very risky. <laughs> Our main challenge is the movement of, of clients coming to, to where we are because the water level which has risen has divided the highland into several other islands and people are living in it. So it's difficult for them to move from the other island to where we are situated actually. The water has risen, uh, for example, you have seen the facilities submerged together with the uh, uh, pit latrines, so it's risky of spreading diseases. At the same time, uh, you see, p passing the water, we have crocodiles, uh, hippopotamus. This is Edita and Subuga reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, please visit unicef.org.
www.ghostbusters.org.